Welcome to this two-minute tutorial from HRAnalytics101.com. In this tutorial, we'll explain how to calculate annualized employee turnover. Turnover rate is the most talked about metric in HR Analytics. As you know from your own experience or from the previous videos, turnover rate can be calculated on a monthly, quarterly, or annual basis. But there's just one problem. You can't directly compare turnover rates calculated over different time periods. To solve this, leaders and HR professionals use what is referred to as an annualized turnover rate. An annualized turnover rate is simply the conversion of some turnover rates calculated for some given time period to an annual rate basis. It answers the question, at this rate, what would turnover look like for a whole year? By converting it to an annual rate, it allows you to compare turnover rates calculated from different time periods. As a simple intuitive example, if I have a 5% turnover rate for the first quarter of the year, then I would have a 20% turnover rate if I continued to lose people at that same rate for the rest of the year. 5% per quarter for four quarters. Here you can see the formula for annualized turnover rate. In words, you first calculate the turnover rate for the given period of interest, just as you saw in our previous videos or in the posts on our site. Then, multiply that rate by the inverse of the proportion of the year accounted for by the period over which you calculated that turnover rate. As an example, suppose my turnover rate was 8% for the month of September. Because I am looking only at a single month, this period accounts for 1 12th of a year. To find my annualized turnover rate, I would therefore multiply 8% by 12, which is the inverse of 1 12th. The result is 96%. That's pretty steep, but it makes sense. If I'm losing 8% of my people every month, then I would lose 96% of my people over the course of 12 months with turnover at that same rate. As a second example, suppose I have a turnover rate of 4% in the second quarter. There are three months in each quarter, so I would multiply the 4% by 12 divided by 3, giving me a 16% annualized turnover rate. That's it. Annualized employee turnover rate in two minutes. Look for more videos and tutorials on a wide variety of HR analytics topics at hranalytics101.com and feel free to tell us what else you would like to see. Until next time. Thank you.